A very good Easter Monday morning to you. You are watching Why in the Morning. This is your favorite breakfast show. We do this between Monday and Friday. That is 7 to 10 o'clock in the morning. If you do want to participate in the conversation, make sure you do follow us on social media at y254 channel on Twitter. The hashtag is Why in the Morning. Hashtag Youth and Politics as it is about that time. Every Monday at 8. You know, yes, we have the ladies and gentlemen who are passionate about governance and leadership in studio with us. So yes, please make sure you do slide into our DM on Facebook at y254 on Instagram, y254 underscore channel. On DSTV, we are channel 376, on Signet 824, and Star Times 54. So yes, make sure you do engage with us. So, <clears throat> today's topic in the spirit of the religious holiday that we have, we have pastors in studio. You know? Yes, they are going to be here with us to give us a word this Easter so that, and then they can let us know the role of religion when it comes to governance and the state. You know, we've been having a lot of things happening. And in fact, a new Pew Research Analysis has found that 30 of the world countries, their heads of state must belong to a specific, unique religious group. So we want to understand what is this about religion that affects even the kind of leaders that we elect. So without further ado, my name is Hilda Wadidi. I will allow our pastors in studio and our student leaders as well, or our young leaders as well, to introduce themselves. Let me start with Pastor Matthew. Say good morning. Good morning. Mm -hmm. My name is Pastor Matthew Ongwen from Glorious Fellowship Ministry. I'm based in Utawala. Great. Um, my name is Jacinta Kagai. I'm a student leader at Kenyatta University and also a gender expert and specialist. Thank oh, you. Fantastic. Now we can jump over to this other side. Good morning. Mm -hmm. My name is Sophia Bogongo from Glorious Ministry. Uh -huh. Good morning. My name is Boaz Tanui. I am a city director. That city 60 director and I'm also a youth leader. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, I just finished from Staff University. I'm a mentor as well. Yes, yes. So it's about time we have a conversation and I wanted the floor to be balanced. And I've tried to even balance agenda so that people don't eat each other. But in the spirit <laughs> of Easter, happy Easter. Happy. Yes. Please let us know how you guys have celebrated your Easter really quick and briefly. And the message that you have gotten from this particular Easter season before I mention some of the sad stories that have come about. In my Easter, I have been working with some groups. Mm -hmm especially in seminars, mm -hmm. children, the youths, mm -hmm. and uh, the whole church, mm -hmm. and also some manual work, mm -hmm. at least to appreciate what is happening. You've been up to some manual work? Exactly. You don't look like it. <laughs> <laughs> Looking very happy, very yeah. good. Yeah. Right. But, but you cannot be healthy without manual work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so basically me for my Easter I spent it with family uh -huh. and like yesterday I was also in a children's home mm -hmm. in Gong just to share the love of Christ because mm -hmm. this time Christ reminds us that he's the reason for the season and he gave his life for us so it's for us to share the love just like he gave us. Alright, yes. so it's for us to share the love. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my Esther was so good. On Friday, I went to Korogocho mm -hmm. to and talk to women there. Mm -hmm. uh, my ministry is on the teach, uh, teaching the women mm -hmm. and also ministry of children. Mm -hmm. So I went to Korogocho on Friday from 2 to 6.30. Mm -hmm. We speak to women there and uh, women were so excited asking questions. Mm -hmm. We shared together the word of God. Mm -hmm. And also on Saturday, we went to Makueni. Mm -hmm. We had a revival there mm -hmm. with a, a group of uh, intercessors. Mm -hmm. It was so powerful. Mm -hmm. We finished and uh, we prayed for the county and we, fin we prayed for the nation mm -hmm. and we prayed for families. Okay. And yesterday also, we went to church as glorious. Alright. Yes. Oh, I'm very, I'm very excited to hear something about women. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> that's just my bad. Anyway, Boaz, let's talk about you. Uh, for me, I, I, I spent most of my time with friends. Mm -hmm. I was to go home mm -hmm. and oh, what spend happened? with family, but due to an avoidable <laughs> circumstances, I mm -hmm. couldn't go. I was also to go for a retreat with mm -hmm. youth in my church, but mm -hmm. I couldn't go. But uh, at the end, on Sunday yesterday, I went to church, mm -hmm. and it was wonderful to, 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 to experience mm -hmm. the resurrection of Christ. The resurrection of Christ. 
amazing that is for those who do subscribe to the christian faith as well so now let's talk about uh, especially the the number of countries that do require some of the the, the people they elect to, to positions of power to belong to a certain religion and we just want to talk about this and the complications that this has brought about now um on sunday we had a very devastating case in sri lanka which is an islam country where um we had um eight explosions um for in, in the christian uh, facilities and uh it is being associated with uh, terrorism and the suicide bombers and i'd just like to know from your point of view as a church how do you feel about such things happening pastor Matthew. let me say let me begin about religion and the states mm -hmm. religion deals with the spiritual issues mm -hmm. and the state borrows from the religion Oh, the state borrows from the religion. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Even if you see the governance from USA to, to the least country, Sudan, their constitution, the rules, and the regulations, they are from Genesis to Revelation in the Bible. Mm -hmm. So, in anything that you find happening in the state, it is in the Bible. Mm -hmm. And the Bible was written many years ago. So that is why there is a lot of influence from the Bible or the religion to the nation, mm -hmm. to the state. Mm -hmm. And number two, religion is the light of the world. So those are the two issues that I can speak for now, but much will be spoken as we go in. So when what happened in Seiranga, because they are influenced by the spirit of the religion, mm -hmm. there is... <coughs> taking place there mm -hmm. because it's Islamic mm -hmm. and there's a way the Islams believe him mm -hmm. and their action they believe it's right so that's exactly what was happening although it is devastating because the Bible hates murdering mm -hmm. I have read the, the Quran mm -hmm. they also don't like they don't condone such yeah. yes. so I don't know whether it's Islamic or it's a spirit of murder Extremism. Yeah, Extremism. Exactly. Yeah. All right, Jacinta, let's hear from you. Uh, for me, um, you see, you cannot separate religion and governance because mm -hmm. actually religion is part of socialization. Mm -hmm. It's the stage where people get to know what they should do, the values they should uphold. Mm -hmm. And through that, we get to maybe build leaders. Mm -hmm. So religion is an institution that is very important in a country. Mm -hmm. And it's very important that people get to learn religion, get to even understand other people's religion. Because mm -hmm. by that, you won't judge people. We've seen things to do with terror and all that. Mm -hmm. And it's because people have a misconception about someone's religion mm -hmm. and like even in our issues in our country today yeah. where people think uh, you see a Muslim and you think they are they are ter yes. terrorists yes. but again if you get to understand these people you won't just relate it with terror mm -hmm. see mm -hmm. so religion is an important aspect because it gives you it it's a spiritual thing as he said mm -hmm. and it gives you that ground it gives you the the things you should believe in and you know if leaders are built in that religion mm -hmm. getting to learn they'll be able to be good leaders because mm -hmm. I believe religion all religions are the essence of good and all religions should strive to do good. So you and do believe, uh, you also agree with the pastor yes. here that the religion is the light of the world. It's the light of the world. <laughs> when you were being elected into your seat, did anybody ask you, were you asked, are you a Christian? Did it affect even your opponents if they were not of, if they were not of the same religion? Was it a factor? Basically, I think that's the question. Was it a factor when mm. you were being elected? No, it wasn't a factor because mm -hmm. I think in campus people mm -hmm. are beyond what religion you are, so mm -hmm. it's not really a factor. Mm -hmm. But of course, they want to do, they want to see what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Of course, and also if you relate yourself with religion, mm -hmm. then they believe you'll do something good for them. You're not there for evil. Oh, that, that has brought up another Pandora. Let me first hear from Sophia. Um, I can say, I can support the way that say that uh, religion and governance will not be separated. Mm -hmm. Because even we read from the whole testament, mm -hmm. uh, for example, the, th the time of Nebuchadnezzar, mm -hmm. the time uh, was, uh, he, he, he was calling the, the people to come and translate the, the, the dream. Mm -hmm. And even uh, God spoke to him mm -hmm. 
in a dream, mm -hmm. but he wasn't able to, 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 to know what was it until when the, the, the thoughts he came to translate it. Mm -hmm. So um, it is already that's been mis, uh, misinterpreted mm -hmm. or misused, mm -hmm. maybe let's say by the evil. Mm -hmm. Then now some, some people have come with the, the name of religion, mm -hmm. but they're destroying the, 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 the nation mm -hmm. and the, the governance. Mm -hmm. So what I can say is, uh, these two, they are supposed to be uh, work together. Mm -hmm. Like now, God can speak to the president, mm -hmm. and the president may not understand mm -hmm. what is being spoken. Oh. Then he gets somebody uh -huh. to come and translate. Mm -hmm. But because <laughs> now we are not serious in uh, listening to God, mm -hmm. we find that we translate our own things. Mm -hmm. So those two things, they go together mm -hmm. in a light way, mm -hmm. then we will have <coughs> peace. All right. Yes. Hey, but uh, just in time, I'm still going to address something I've just opened here. I mean, <laughs> anyway, yeah, but, but let me first help you to say about Sri Lanka. Uh, for me, I, I, I really agree with uh, all the panelists, mm -hmm. and uh, I think religion is very important. Mm -hmm. It's very important because uh, people should believe in something, you know? Mm -hmm. And when you believe in something, and those teachings that you learn from maybe your religion will help you in leading the people, because people, many people, are actually, they, they, they believe in something. Mm -hmm. They are um, either Muslim, they are mm -hmm. either Hindus, they are something, you know. Yeah. And for, for, for you to lead those people, you just have to come from a certain perspective as well. Mm -hmm. And you, 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 you know, all these religions that teach, they teach good, good, uh, good practices. Mm -hmm. And uh, with leaders, we need to have as well good leadership and who don't involve in all sorts of evil, as she said, including even corruption and such kind of things. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that uh, Jacinta has brought that up because that's something that we need to discuss. That is the heart <laughs> of the matter. We have a lot of uh, leaders coming to carrying religion as a as a what do you call it as a weapon it's to a weapon. win campaigns you know mm -hmm. to oh you know i'm saved i'm like mm -hmm. this eh? mm -hmm. i'm like that and it comes it comes to discernment in the public since we have such a general view of how we expect or which religion we expect our leaders to come from i'd like to hear from you out of all the hypocrisy that you have seen in this country what can you comment especially for you who has been talking to the leaders actually let me not use that same word let me first come back to you sophia you've been talking to the women does that religion does that piousness affect who gets into power, who becomes the chair lady mm. of those chamas. <laughs> uh, <coughs> we find that sometimes they, that does not come uh, among them, mm -hmm. that does not come a big, uh, a big problem mm -hmm. because we deal with the uh, Christian women. Mm -hmm. Uh, it doesn't come a, 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 major, a major problem with them. Mm -hmm. Even when we are choosing, they don't say this one is coming from this and this. Mm -hmm. But now when it comes to uh, different, uh, if you bring all of them together, yes. you may find some deciding <laughs> to their religion mm -hmm. and some deciding to another religion. Mm -hmm. But uh, what we are saying is uh, in order to have uh, uh, a good governance and leadership, mm -hmm. People need to know uh, not to be cheated, mm -hmm. and when the people are coming to say, uh, I'm a Christian, I want um, this and this, mm -hmm. people should uh, take time to evaluate. That's discernment. How yes. do we get that discernment? Discernment, it will come like this now. Like now, in the group of women, mm -hmm. we go on to train women. Mm -hmm. Uh, to know God mm -hmm. and even to know how they are supposed to choose without us we, when we train them mm -hmm. we don't tell them go and uh, choose Pastor Matthew mm -hmm. or choose the other one. Mm -hmm. We just train them so that uh, giving them the qualifications mm -hmm. we they see whom they are supposed to, mm -hmm. to choose. Mm -hmm. But you know uh, when it comes to corruption and people are giving money to people yes. they don't even think mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. who is good and, and who, who is, is bad. bad. Yeah. They only that. And that is comes because of uh, poverty. Mm -hmm. Now you say that when the time comes I'm not, I will not, I'll not be, I, I'll not, I'll, I don't know where I'll see this man. Mm -hmm. Let me take this other feelings, <laughs> go and buy for my uh -huh. something. Uh -huh. So the problem is poverty, it, it, it brings people to go and choose mm -hmm. the people whom they are not even want to choose. Also, they might know that somebody is bad, but yeah. because of circumstances, they'll mm -hmm. be like, ah, no, let me just do it before it. Pastor Matthew, let's hear from you. Uh, now that corruption has been brought let up. Let me begin mm -hmm. by saying this. Mm -hmm. 
Leadership yeah. is appointed by God. Mm -hmm. Point number one. Mm -hmm. But if we look at example, even in the Bible and in our nation, I think I may speak a few about the president. Yes, please do. Uh, our president, Hulu Kenyatta. Yes. Some people, maybe because of tribal, mm -hmm. Nigeria Kenya was divided mm -hmm. in tribal mm -hmm. and it began from religion. Mm -hmm. When the pastor said, I'll go home to my people, mm -hmm. bishops are deal with my own people, mm -hmm. forgetting the Bible says there is no Jew, mm -hmm. there is no Greek. Mm -hmm. We are a nation of Kenya that we deal with all people. That is what divided the nation. Remember this, when the church is sick, the nation is sick. And everything begins from the halter. Mm -hmm. When we raise an halter, that is a charge, that is a pulpit, whatever that we speak, if we allow the politics of division come to the halter, mm -hmm. it will affect the whole nation. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I think somebody is advising the president in the right way, mm -hmm. and when you look at this, you find it spiritual but not political. Mm -hmm. The decision that is making. Mm -hmm. If it were political, Kenya could have been polarized completely. Mm -hmm. Remember, in the Bible, mm -hmm. there were two nations mm -hmm. divided, mm -hmm. and the Kenya could have gone that way. Mm -hmm. So the handshake has brought a kind of the unity to the Kenyans. Mm -hmm. Now, when we talk about religion, you hear pastors saying, our people our people mm -hmm. but other tribes are also our people because yeah. we are the leaders of them mm -hmm. so if only a church can avoid the politics of our people mm -hmm. and we go back to our mandate our mandate is to unite mm -hmm. the people and bring the people together if if the church could be in the, in the forefront doing what who was doing with the rider i'm sure kenya would have the right to govern us mm -hmm. but now the church is a bit sick Mm -hmm. And we are trying to pray for recovery. Number two, it is God who chooses leaders. Mm -hmm. We can do our campaign, mm -hmm. we can bribe, mm -hmm. we can do whatever we do, mm -hmm. but God will change the circumstances within a second. Mm -hmm. And people may not believe. Mm -hmm. They can say, oh, there's been stolen or what. But I believe if God has ordained somebody to be a leader, remember Saul, mm -hmm. God rejected Saul. Mm -hmm. Where did David come from? Mm -hmm. Nowhere. Yeah. And he became a king. Mm -hmm. God rejected a harp. Mm -hmm. What happened? Mm -hmm. So when we look at the Bible clearly, whatever that was happening in the Bible is happening in the world today. Mm -hmm. And it's God who really chooses a leader. We can go to election, mm -hmm. but when God says, it is so and so will be a leader, it will be so and so who will be a leader. Mm -hmm. And we have to respect that. In 2017, mm -hmm. we had prayers. Mm -hmm. When the country was going somewhere, when people, in fact, it's when I realized Kenya can pray. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> they really sacrificed to pray for a leader. Mm -hmm. The outcome was God gave us a leader. Mm -hmm. Okay. God gave us a leader. Please let us know. Slide into social media handles and let us know if you believe that this is correct. You know, there's something I'm, I'm glad that you talked about how um, the state follows the church mm -hmm. and, it, and it, or the church should take the forefront uh, first before now the state makes some decisions. So the other day we were having this conversation about um, lowering the age of consent to 16. Uh, for young for young ladies and the church was up in arms against saying no 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 so i would just like to hear without saying anything without preempting anything i'd like to hear from you where does the church stand and where do you stand as an individual when it comes to that particular case yeah go ahead and take the mic it's okay uh, I, I, for me i would want to say uh, as a person Mm -hmm. I don't think it's right for us to lower the age of uh, mm -hmm. of consent. Mm -hmm. the, you, if you if you seen, if you realize the, the the people who are sixteen years and below, mm -hmm. most of them are high school kids. Mm -hmm. They're still kids. They're still kids. Mm -hmm. And when you're in high school, you, you you really don't want to to be given too much responsibility to choose by yourself some things because mm. you will end up making very big mistakes. Wow, I'm so surprised that coming even, <laughs> <laughs> even when uh, even people who have gone above the age of 18 
they still make a lot of mistakes. Mm. We still make a lot of mistakes. And we d I'm not saying that we should uh, at least increase to 20 or something, but <laughs> at least <laughs> we, should, uh, we should realize that uh, with the age of 16, that person is still young. Good. That person is very, very young. So the quotes on that one, you don't agree? No. Yeah. Okay. Jacinta, you look like you really uh, want to say something. Let me just yes. give you an opportunity. <laughs> In fact, this is my area. So uh -huh. really yes. interested. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you see, like you said, the church is important yeah. since they also influence on the laws that are made yes. and they were against that. Yeah. And uh, for me, I support that because mm -hmm. I support the church going against the age of consent, mm -hmm. being lower to 16. Mm -hmm. At this time, we are struggling with things like gender-based violence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The teenage pregnancies in school, yeah. as in how will they even regulate to ensure that these children are safe? Mm -hmm. We've had cases of where teachers go with the students, I don't know, to retreat and then they have, yeah. they abuse these children. Mm -hmm. And you see when we are lowering, it's like we're telling them, it's okay to do that. I'm sure even us who maybe had, people are saying, like they justified saying, you know, some of us even had sex when we were 16, when we were 15. But who is proud of their sex encounter at that time? They were actually saying that um, the courts the courts had the issue of unfair, 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 unfair uh, victims who have been mm -hmm. accused of unfair. Someone is 17, she has agreed, then the father finds out, and then... then and then the boy. Yes, and then the boy. So it was an issue of being unfair. So, Pastor Matthew, please handle that mm -hmm. other area. Uh, allow me to speak that with a lot of concern. Mm -hmm. When the moral of the nation rots, mm -hmm. things will happen like this. Mm -hmm. Let's begin. We allowed the parliamenta parliamentarians mm -hmm. to pass the law of polygamous. Polygamy, yes. That is where things started going wrong. And that is why we have problems in families. Now, <laughs> The church did not participate on this. Everything was silent. But look now the effects hmm. what it down, down the line. We have forgotten that, that the marriages are on the brink. They came, my dress, my choice. <laughs> the rape cases, <laughs> the rape cases that Jacinda said, mm -hmm. went high. Yeah. That is why we have a lot of rape cases. Mm -hmm. The church kept mm -hmm. quiet, and in fact, a kakubali, it allowed it to continue. Even in the church, they dress the way they want. <laughs> the point in the church, people are Instead of the church paying the light, mm -hmm. now, the moral life has decayed. Now let's come now to the reality. Mm -hmm. I am a parent. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'm blessed with three girls, mm -hmm. so I'm a father of three girls. Mm -hmm. Now let me say something here. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, bring up a child in the ways of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And when he's grown up, he can live in that ways. Mm -hmm. We were brought up the same way. Mm -hmm. That's why we are what we are. Mm -hmm. And I'm proud of my parents mm -hmm. and my spiritual leaders. Mm -hmm. but now, tell me this. Why do we want children under the age of 16 to start sex. Okay. At 16. At 16. At 16. That's what I'm saying. At 16. Yes. The brain is not mature. Yes. Can she digest that kind of life? In fact, even in a marriage, we say from 22 years and above, above. is when somebody has become mm. mature mm. to digest the things. Now, for instance, they start at 16 and all of a sudden they're pregnant mm. because we are allowing that now these children to engage into commercial sex. Yeah. So after this, poverty. do we have a generation? Mm -hmm. We don't have a generation. Mm. We don't have, and, and, and if you look at the age of 16, mm. they fear pregnancy more than even HIV. What? That's a heavy one. Hey, yeah. for my father of three girls. Guys, <laughs> so here we need some help here. So my dress, my choice has also contributed to moral rot. What can you please comment on this before yeah. we move on? <laughs> <laughs> what I can say about mm -hmm. the rowing, mm -hmm. it is uh, it is not good, mm -hmm. and uh, we are going because <laughs> people who are supporting that. Mm -hmm. They might be the people who are doing who are raping young girls, oh. and they want to away yeah, with exactly. that. Ah. Mm -hmm. Because 
there is no normal person who can accept a, a child girl mm -hmm. or boy mm -hmm. to start sex with 16 years old yeah. mm -hmm. in high school. We'll have chaos. Mm -hmm. Because even the high school children, they will do whatever they want to do. Mm -hmm. Now they are, they fear mm -hmm. because they will not be there is a, they will be jailed yes. because you have put somebody bring a, a guard bring that. Mm -hmm. But now when it is going to be lowered, mm -hmm. we are going to have chaos. Mm -hmm. As Pastor said, mm -hmm. the country we are going uh, in a, a very bad situation mm -hmm. because, uh, for example, you look to even can say families. Mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a, I have a family. Mm -hmm. Three girls and three boys. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I am other. Is, only, is, is, is a young one who is a 20, 21 years. Mm -hmm. The other ones are above. They are a young adult. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying here is, if we lower like that, mm -hmm. we are going to bring chaos mm -hmm. in families. Mm -hmm. Right away now, there's a lot of problems in families. Mm -hmm. The way pastors are saying that marrying so many wives, mm -hmm. so many children, yeah. and they themselves they're uh, raping one another. Mm -hmm. So we that one I say do, uh, I support. Mm -hmm. I, I I support the the church, mm -hmm. saying that it is wrong mm -hmm. to throw it that way. Okay. My dress, my choice. Mm -hmm. It was also around. Mm -hmm. But as Christians, mm -hmm. we need to know how to dress. We need to be our brother's keeper. Mm -hmm. All right. For example, mm -hmm. myself, when I pass, mm -hmm. and I find me a guy who is dressed so badly, mm -hmm. I just greet her, how are you? Define badly. You mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. what I'm saying badly? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me say badly. <laughs> she can put a dress, mm -hmm. which is so... Small, small, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and even the the, the, all, the rest of the body is outside. outside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All has a a, a, a skirt, mm -hmm. which has a street mm -hmm. almost. Oh, that has come the, all the way. Yes. <laughs> then I'll just say hi, how are you? Mm -hmm. Then the rest smiles. I say, ah, your dress does not look good. You can do something. Say yes, 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 mama, do that. Mm -hmm. So if we can go that, mm -hmm. we can train them mm -hmm. how they're supposed to dress. Wow. Because if you go and say, you are dressing so badly, this person will not even listen to you. Yes. They'll come against you. Yes. They'll yeah. come very defensive. Correct. Jacinta, you um, have something to say before I go move on to that? Yeah, <laughs> but also I think I have a different view on that. Mm -hmm. uh, the My Dress, My Choice campaign mm -hmm. was against um, women being stripped stripped on the streets because of how they're dressed yes. and campaigning uh, against it and ensuring that ladies can move freely how mm -hmm. they are mm -hmm. I, I disagree that really it it has contributed to the immorality of the society mm -hmm. uh, but I'd say you know like she said when you're cancelling someone you cancel them with love uh -huh. but you know when someone goes to church and she's dressed somehow and you're like why are you dressed like that okay. I believe by the time maybe you're growing in your faith mm -hmm. you learn you you even be uncomfortable why yeah. am I dressing this way uh -huh. but then again it's not a reason for me to walk in the streets mm -hmm. dressed in my wear and someone at, at a now someone is like now I'll be raped and yes. a vic uh, I'm a victim mm -hmm. because uh, maybe I was dressed this way so we need in to fact, teach our boys how to behave not Exactly. The girls that oh, oh, oh. In fact, most of the rape mm -hmm. cases, mm -hmm. the, the girls were not dressed badly. Mm -hmm. yeah. People even raped grandmothers, little yes. children. Mm -hmm. So were they really dressed inappropriate? It's I violence. Don't, yeah. It's just yeah. violence. Yeah. The rape yeah. is just uh, purely violence. Can, I, can I comment on that? Yes. The Bible says God hates the nakedness oh. of our person. Mm -hmm. For real? Yes. <laughs> Chapter what? <laughs> then let me go straight and speak about this. Mm -hmm. You see, we cannot cover the truth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, in psychology, mm -hmm. I've done that a bit of it. Mm -hmm. The men, mm -hmm. they are like electricity. Switch on, switch <laughs> off. <laughs> I, I'm speaking deeper things, mm -hmm. but I believe you can understand. Yes, yes. When a child walked naked, mm -hmm. a girl, babe, Parts of the, there are some parts of the body that are very sensitive. <laughs> yeah, let, let, oh, let me know about that. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. But, oh, no. What have I done here? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's talk about something else. Oh, yeah. So, no. Uh, let's go back to government. Gosh. Um, so, no. Um, <clears throat> But this, there's uh, a lot of very powerful world leaders known all over have been accused of secretly belonging to cults. 
and uh, and um, there's been this notion that you must be involved in some kind of evil or some kind of witchcraft for you to attain certain power, a certain level of power and a certain mm -hmm. level of money. And people attributed this to the incident where um, was it Jesus in, in his temptations where he was offered the world mm -hmm. and he was to bow down to Satan and what have you? And okay, that's according to the Christian faith. Please, and uh, please, I'd like to be sensitive to him, maybe. <laughs> that is just according to that, uh, to according to that faith. But yes, that is where the story stems from. And, the, and apparently, the money and power has been given to the devil. So those who want it have to go in Repeat that direction. Man, man, man. man Money, and power. Oh, money, <laughs> money and power <laughs> has been attributed to evil. Like you have to, you have to go to this mm -hmm. if you want this much of power and money. So I'd like to hear from you. Yes. In fact, some of the churches have actually been accused, including uh, one very famous Joel Austin was also accused of occultism, wow. imagine. So I'd like to hear from you, that based on how much influence he has over people, I'd like to hear from you. Do you think that is true? A lot of politicians here in Kenya have also been accused of witchcraft. Do you think it's true? Can, Does God can not you give power? say this? Mm -hmm. Who is the creator mm -hmm. of all the things that we see? Mm -hmm. it's God. Is it God or mm -hmm. the Satan? It's God. it's God. The Bible says all the riches mm -hmm. belongs to God. Mm -hmm. And I repeat the first statement I said, leadership is appointed by God. Mm -hmm. Now, when we talk about every person whose wealth mm -hmm. is associated with devil worshipper. Mm -hmm. Allow me to say, it's totally a lie. Okay. okay. It is a lie. Joining devil mm -hmm. worshipper or whatever they can call Illuminati mm -hmm. is a choice mm -hmm. to somebody. Mm -hmm. But witchcraft and whatever, it's even in the Bible. If you read from Genesis, <laughs> all the leaders were going through that, mm -hmm. some of them. Mm -hmm. But not all of them, also, mm -hmm. in fact, they never succeeded. Oh. Unless those that God appointed. Mm -hmm. Look at Saul. Mm -hmm. Why did God reject him? Mm -hmm. Until he had to consult the mediums mm -hmm. over the dead. And yeah. God rejected him. Mm -hmm. That is when David took over. Mm -hmm. The Bible says when wicked leader leads, mm -hmm. the people cry. Oh. Mm -hmm. So the reason that I'm talking about, uh, it's, it's like this. We, we were intimates. Mm -hmm. We were classmates. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, you have gone higher than me. Mm -hmm. What do you expect me, I can say, to, to, to defend myself? Mm -hmm. You have gone to Illuminati. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have worked hard, you have gotten a good car. Oh, so it's just you trying to console yourself that this person yeah, and, has... and so people oh. that so and so uh -huh. has gotten his riches in a wrong way. Oh, but okay. just wait a minute. Yes. Even pastors that will say, yes. when you find a pastor you start that I church together with, yes. a certain, by God, because it's favor. Mm -hmm. Favor is getting an approval from God. Mm -hmm. and All you the start grace. To succeed and flourish. Yeah. When you start growing, people come, depending on how you pray, mm -hmm. you commit yourself to studying the word. Mm -hmm. What do you ever say? If it's a pastor like me, mm -hmm. nah, I mean, what mm -hmm. do I say? Mm -hmm. Ah, forget about those. They are illuminati. But is it true? Mm -hmm. Not really true. Not true. I like that. You know, we only have three minutes, you guys. So I really need us to make quick comments on this. So, so, so what I can say, mm -hmm. uh, it is not true mm -hmm. that the devil is the one who has power uh -huh. and money, uh -huh. because that was a temptation mm -hmm. which uh, he was given. He was given Jesus. Mm -hmm. I can talk about a man called Job. Mm -hmm. He was the richest person mm -hmm. until when uh, the, the the devil went to empty mm -hmm. him. Yes. So we not, we cannot say that every person who has the riches mm -hmm. is that he has gone gotten to from the evil. Mm -hmm. Evil is there, mm -hmm. and also God blesses their people mm -hmm. as we pray. So a good example is the example of Job. Mm -hmm. Job was a very righteous person, mm -hmm. and also uh, he was tempted mm -hmm. when he was mm -hmm. a righteous person. And so also Solomon and Esther, people were all rich, all so people should not say that. Correct. Correct. <laughs> Even Abraham was rich. Anyways, <laughs> what, <laughs> what, can you have your comments? Quickly, quickly, in the next second time, then we finish it. Uh, people have been blaming Satan for nothing. Oh, God, I'm blaming them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> but yet, they are the ones who are actually evil. Uh -huh. uh, I will not say that uh, money is 
all the way good because mm -hmm. sometimes when you get a lot of money mm -hmm. and you want power, mm -hmm. many a times you will tend to do some things which are not good. Which are considered evil. Which now we will say that you have started worshipping money mm -hmm. and power. Mm -hmm. okay. And when you start doing that, you start doing maybe killing people, maybe start you, you start doing so many things and then people will start think oh. thinking about you as a an Illuminati. Yet oh, you're so worshiping based on money those things that you are doing, mm -hmm. the character, the corruption you're engaging in now, mm -hmm. worshiping that money. Oh, so that is <laughs> 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 Thank you, sir. Thank you, boys. Jacinta, can we have yours? Oh, basically, I'd say that it's not that all money and power comes from the evil. Mm -hmm. People really work hard to get their money. Like, oh, yeah. we also working hard to be rich. But again, we cannot refute the fact that we have some cults and all. We have some people really going to cults so that for them to get money, mm -hmm. which is also a bad thing. Mm -hmm. According to my spiritual psychology, mm -hmm. we learned that these things are just there to drain you. Yes. You see, they're there to manipulate you and all that. But again, not all riches comes from the evil. There are people who've really worked hard to be where they are. And those false prophets, I mean, there should be some regulations to make sure that people are not led in the wrong way. And when you see these things, watch out. Mm -hmm. Watch yeah. out. Be on the lookout also. Just one word. Okay. Demonic creatures, they don't last long. Yes, and it a lot of mm -hmm. But God given riches lasts for long. Exactly. Okay, thank you. God given riches lasts for long. And those evil ones backfire. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much for tuning in to Youth and Politics Easter Monday, very special edition where we were looking at the role of religion in governance and how it affects the state and us as citizens ourselves. My name is Hilda Wadidi, Asante Sana Pastor Matthew Sophia. Yes, Boaz and Jacinta, thank you very much for coming oh, to studio today. On an Easter. Thank you. Very early in the morning. Thank you very much. My name is Hilda Didi. Please do not go anywhere. Man Talk is coming up next.